Hello everyone, today you and I will understand a little about Elon Musk's company SpaceX, a leading company in the field of space exploration. SpaceX's full name is Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, a private company specializing in manufacturing American rockets and spacecraft headquartered in Hawthorne, California. SpaceX was founded on March 14, 2002 by Elon Musk. SpaceX was born with the meaning of promoting the development of aviation and space technology, aiming to reduce costs and ensure efficiency in reusing spacecraft for subsequent launches. But before that, in 2001, Musk began coming up with ideas for a project to attract public interest in space exploration. Musk began participating in a nonprofit organization that researches Mars and calls for funding for NASA. At that time, Musk said that this was the furthest trip of his life. After that, Elon Musk tried to fly over Russia to negotiate to buy cheap Dnieper missiles from Russia but failed and returned empty-handed because the price of Russian missiles was too expensive. On the flight home, Musk realized he could start his own rocket company. By applying modern rocket module reuse technology and software technology, Musk believes SpaceX can significantly cut the cost per launch. In early 2002, Musk began looking for personnel for his new space company. Musk contacted rocket engineer Tom Mueller, later SpaceX's CTO of Propulsion, and invited him to become a partner business and SpaceX was officially born. By November 2005, the company had more than 160 employees and began designing, assembling and testing major rocket and spacecraft components. During the period 2005 to 2009, SpaceX developed the first orbital launch vehicle named Falcon 1. Falcon 1 is a small booster rocket capable of delivering several hundred kilograms into low Earth orbit. Designed with two stages, Stage 1 is equipped with a Merlin engine and Stage 2 is a Kestrel engine. The total cost of developing Falcon 1 at that time was about 90 million US dollars. After the first three rocket launches from 2006 to 2008 all failed and SpaceX almost wanted to disband the company because of running out of capital. However, on September 28, 2008, things began to turn around when the fourth launch was a resounding success, marking an important milestone for SpaceX. Continuing development efforts, SpaceX launched the next rocket called Falcon 9, with an average lift capacity capable of launching up to 22,800 kilograms into orbit. With an estimated cost of about 300 million US dollars, this is the world's first reusable rocket officially launched. In June 2010, Falcon 9 was officially launched and put a spacecraft named Dragon Four, into orbit. Three, this two, marks an important one, step forward in zero. the development of non-commercial technology.
Not stopping there, SpaceX continued to launch a spacecraft called Dragon C2 at a cost of about 400 million US dollars, designed with the goal of transporting people and materials to space more effectively. In May 2012, Dragon C2 was successfully launched and Dragon became the first commercial spacecraft to transport cargo to the International Space Station ISS. Next, in 2015, SpaceX spent heavily on the Falcon 9 reusable development program at a cost of about $1 billion. In late June 2015, the Falcon 9 suffered its first failure and exploded two minutes into its flight. The problem stemmed from a two-foot-long steel strut holding a helium pressure tank that failed under the force of acceleration. This allows high-pressure helium gas to discharge into the low-pressure propellant tank and cause a crash. However, SpaceX did not back down. On December 22, 2015, Falcon 9 was successfully launched and this was the first landing of the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket on land. Along with that, on April 8, 2016, Falcon 9 also successfully landed the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket on the ocean floor. Then in early September 2016, a second missile incident occurred. Falcon 9, worth $200 million, exploded during propellant loading and was destroyed. The explosion was caused by the liquid oxygen used as a propellant, cooling to the point of freezing and ignited by carbon fusion helium tanks. Although it was not successful, the company paused the launch for four months to find the problem. By January 2017, SpaceX was back and doing better than before. The next launch on March 30, 2017 was a complete success as the Falcon 9 returned to Earth for the first time and reused the entire spacecraft. Not stopping there, SpaceX continues to spend heavily with about 500 million US dollars to develop a ship called Falcon Heavy with the goal of being able to transport heavy loads to space. Falcon Heavy is currently the world's most powerful rocket in use, includes three boosters and can carry objects weighing up to 64 tons into low Earth orbit. Officially on February 6, 2018, Falcon Heavy successfully launched a Tesla car and a mannequin wearing an astronaut suit into space on its first flight.
The next year, in 2019, SpaceX signed a contract with NASA and launched the next project called Crew Dragon worth 2.6 billion US dollars with a desire to bring astronauts to the International Space Station ISS. In March 2019, the Crew Dragon Demo-1 successfully descended into orbit and landed at the International Space Station ISS. May 2020 marked a major milestone for SpaceX, when Crew Dragon Demo-2 successfully launched two NASA astronauts, Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken, into orbit into the ISS once absolutely safe way. This makes SpaceX the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station and marks the first crew launch from U.S. soil in nine years. In 2019, SpaceX also developed in parallel the launch of a large number of Starlink satellites into space. To date there are more than 4,500 Starlink satellites. This is the world's largest commercial internet satellite system. SpaceX does not stop there, but also sets bigger goals such as The goal is to send humans to the moon by 2024 with a project called Artemis in cooperation with NASA with an estimated budget of about 28 billion US dollars to serve the purpose of sending space tourists and astronauts to the moon. In the more distant future, a goal called Starship can turn the company's ambition to settle on Mars into reality and make flights across the Earth's continent.
Since its inception, SpaceX has successfully launched nearly 300 times over the years. Since its inception, SpaceX has launched to date SpaceX has four rocket launch sites into orbit at Cape Canaveral Space Station, Vandenberg Space Force Base, Kennedy Space Center, and a site near Brownsville, Texas. The birth of SpaceX marks an important step forward in the field of space and space technology. SpaceX not only brings cutting-edge technology, but also brings a new change in the way we approach space, helping to open up new opportunities and take us further in space exploration. With great goals and a mission to take humans beyond Earth, SpaceX will certainly continue to be a notable company, worth watching and waiting for in the future. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to watch. Interesting things, mysteries, wonders, life in the world, UFO.